to become special, you have to believe in yourself first, and then you have to believe in others and how you can help them play their their best game. Uh, and again, that takes time and that takes battle scars. And all the teams that I've been with that have overcome odds have all been through tough battles. And they bounce back and they apply those lessons and they get tough. And, and that toughness only comes through those type of battles. I, I think to give you an idea of, of his calmness and his teaching ability, uh, and his positive uh, attitude, you would have to look at one of the, the games in FedEx Forum where they seemed to have control of the game. The game started to get away from him. They were making mistakes, but he never panicked. And because he doesn't panic and because he doesn't lose his cool on the sideline, uh, his team can regroup. And I, I think if, if, if there's one moment, it's, it's that and you see it quite often. There are different ways to teach. John Wooden, um, you know, always said that if you're raising your voice, you know, you've lost the battle. And, and I think there is a little bit, and I'm not gonna, you know, I don't wanna be comparing Mark Ivoroni to maybe the greatest college coach ever, but I think that philosophy that you don't have to raise your voice to get your point across, in fact, if you're talking quietly, people might lean in a little bit and listen a little caref more carefully. I think that's um, something that Mark has. You know, you're seeing the team start to come together offensively, really commit to that running style. I think because of the injuries and because of all the new players, we're still so early in the process that it's hard to get a really good feel for, for what, you know, Averoni ball is going to look like in the future. Put your knowledge, your heart, your gut into the game and into your teammates, okay? Don't wait for someone else to do it. Let's do it ourselves. The thing that carries you through everything adverse is being positive and being patient. Anyone can teach, anyone can get a message across, anyone can get followers when you have instant success. And you really don't have instant success anywhere. People can read about you know, Popovich, he, he struggled at first. Uh, all the great ones struggled at first. Vince Lombardi was a great model for me. And Red Auerbach used to barnstorm with his team to get people into the stands. And they all believed in the same thing, that it takes time, it takes hard work, and it takes a constant belief and enthusiasm in what you're doing. And throughout all the rough times, you have to be positive and you have to be patient. Otherwise, you're going to lose people, you're going to lose your own belief, um, and you're going to end up quitting before you've even gotten uh, close to the ultimate prize. Let's go, go to work. Tough luck, here we go, let's go. That's the way to be, that's not a, that's not a gamble, that's what we're doing, great job, great job. One play at a time, one stop at a time. Let's go, come on guys, come on. I love to struggle, but you know what? Let's be smart. My passion hasn't changed, my responsibilities have, and I haven't been able to do that as much as I'd like. But I want players to feel that, you know, even though I'm not a big strong guy, that I can play strong by playing with leverage, playing with my body, using toughness and technique, um, and that they should respect that, because I did play seven years in the league, and I played with some pretty tough teams, against some pretty tough teams. And I think they need to be reminded of that, that I'm not just a talker and a pointer, that I'm a guy who's going to get involved and roll up my sleeves and enjoy it. Nice. You got it. Walk! Thank you. Tommy walked on the first one. Yes! Solid! Solid! Watch the moving feet. Leverage! Leverage! Solid! 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 So what's that hook arm? What's that hook arm? Put up chucking! Go with it! Go with it! Nice job! That's the way! Well, number one, we've got to continue to believe that every night we have a chance and we will win the game. And that we believe in our preparation and that we prepare correctly and that guys don't try to do things that they're not prepared to do. They just do their job. And if everybody's doing their job, then we will execute. And if we execute, we'll knock down shots. And if we knock down shots, our defense will probably be better. And when we don't, our defense has to be solid anyway. 
and so you have to be able to do both things well. And when you do all of those things, you've got great chances to win games, and you start forming something that is based on uh, execution and not just luck. We've had some tough losses, and especially uh, during injuries and sickness, where people expected us not to be able to even compete, and here we are in an overtime game. So I give them high grades for that. We just have to continue to be more and more consistent and get better in some phase of the game every night.